thank you very much. Next, we're going to hear from a member of Local 26 who works here in Hennepin County Government Center, Katara Arale. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Katara Arale, and I have worked here at the Government Center for 11 years. We are happy to make the change today, claiming if is downright. We need the time to adjust to the new hours. We need new training. We are happy to have their account save money. We are happy to help the heirs. That we need in the state is to make those jobs eight hours full-time jobs. My family cannot live on less. Thank you. Yeah, uh, can we have time for, uh, for questions? Quick, yeah. I was a little late. The Ten million dollar savings I just read about. Is that basically most of that cost, energy cost that you're saving? It's, uh, most, yes, an energy savings based, and it's estimates based on uh, kilowatt hours for uh, a commercial office real estate in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Uh, Mr. Rickloff, uh, can you tell us again the buildings that are already on the time? Uh, yes, the libraries. We have the new uh, combined Minneapolis Hennepin County Library System 41 libraries, I think is the number. They're on uh, daytime, as well as our transfer stations. That's solid waste transfer stations. We have two of those. And then there are uh, sheriff's facilities out in the western suburbs that have already gone to daytime cleaning. And then we had the tests uh, this fall that were in the Family Justice Center and Century Plot. Yep. Mr. McLaughlin, any projections on the cost savings at this point? We think we can save almost 200, 2 million kilowatt hours of electricity that we use. Uh, we think that uh, we can, with that, we can save at least $100,000. Uh, we're going to reduce CO2 emissions by 1,600 tons per year. Uh, and so those are real savings, and we're going to continue to uh, continue to work on that as we, uh, as we move forward. I think it, the, the lesson here is you need to be intentional about it. You need to put it in place in a systematic way that incorporates uh, the the work schedules and incorporates the, the major energy savings that can be achieved. I want to know, are we talking about savings mainly accomplished through the turning off of lights? Or are there other energy savings involved here beyond the light? It's, it's mostly lights, but there's also obviously elevators are used uh, all, you know, all, all night and day, but um, uh, the, it's, it's principally about the, uh, about, about the lights. Yeah. Just yeah. come downtown at night. Yeah. Yes. Is, is it the hope that all commercial buildings will, will jump on this bandwagon? I mean, and if so, will downtown look different at night? I mean, if, you know, if, if somebody's coming downtown and we hear the, I mean, I, I think that's a stupid question. Will it look darker? Our, our, our hope is, and what we're, we're looking to do is to incentivize a practice that should be a win-win for workers, uh, office workers, janitors, uh, building owners, and the environment. Um, no, so, uh, not, uh, we're not saying that this needs to be required, but we do think that many are already looking at this because of the cost savings and the environmental um, uh, effects. But, um, but uh, yes, the goal is to, is to do this in a way so that our downtowns uh, at night are not um, uh, wasting the energy that we waste today. I, I'd say they'd look darker, downtown would look darker and smarter. And frankly, the migratory birds are going to actually appreciate this. I mean, there's clear evidence around the country about turning the lights off, you end up not having as much a negative effect on the migratory birds as well. So, so that's, uh, that's a very important point, actually, because what we did when we surveyed our members is found that over 50% would prefer right now to move into, uh, into day shift jobs if they were available. 
that's why when we talk about a transition from, day, uh, from moving nighttime to day, to day shift, it's hugely important, both in terms of training the, the, the janitorial workers and also uh, educating the, the office workers about the, about the changes, but also to make any sort of accommodations. We have an example in um, St. Paul, St. Paul Travelers, for example. The tenants were given a six-week notice for, um, that, that the building was going to transition to day shift, but the workers, our members, were given two weeks notice, which was not enough time to make any kind of adjustments like the one you, like, like you suggested. Is there any resistance from the janitorial service company or the building owners? In, in, is this an issue in negotiations and labor negotiations? It, it, we, uh, we have in our current negotiations proposals to incentivize uh, this. Uh, to, to be honest, those uh, up to now, those they've been they've been rejected. That's not where our, our, uh, the contractors have not been interested in talking about this. The uh, the building owners, I think, uh, the, in our communications, my communications meetings with, with people, people are very interested uh, in this, especially the cost savings. Um, they're they're uh, they don't want to be be uh, um, uh, forced to do it, and, but that's not what we're proposing. We're we're wanting to incentivize it. But the contractors are saying no. Generally? The contractors have, re have rejected our, our proposals. And can you outline what the proposal was? When you say incentive, you were going to incent these yeah. service companies? Well, for example, if you if you have a transition to day shift that is done overnight, that would create a lot of labor strike, a lot of labor problems. And so, and if it's done overnight, you are it's unlikely that you will have taken the time to make sure that office workers understand how to make how, like what the changes are going to be, to have the kind of communication and training that's needed. So we are we are proposing that there be a transition period so that all those things can be worked out, and so that that workers and their and the cleaning companies and the and the, the building owners are are working out all the kinks before it's actually implemented. But then you said they've rejected all of the build, all of the janitorial service companies have rejected your They've rejected proposals. our proposals up to now, yes. Yeah. So thank you all very much. Thank you.